when I learned how to dive in the Keys, almost the entire coral reef was alive. In the last 15 years, we've lost 60% of the living coral reef. But yet, when people go and they dive in Florida for the first time, they still think it's beautiful. And so that baseline for environmental quality is shifting, and it will continue to shift until we can present those people with a picture that says, no, this is what the pristine condition is or was, and this is where you see it today. And if we can't do that, there won't be any political will. There won't be any impetus for those new generations of people to engage or to try to restore it because they'll think that it's pristine and every one of them will accept a certain amount of degradation from what they consider to be pristine before they take action to do anything about it. And if that happens slow enough, it'll just continue forever. Project Baseline Founders created an innovative solution that effectively addresses the need to capture baseline data that nurtures broad public awareness of underwater conditions on a global scale. Our mission is simple, empower passionate citizens to observe and record change within the world's aquatic environments in a way that fosters public awareness and supports political action. How do we accomplish this ambitious agenda? Project Baseline leverages a network of highly skilled volunteer scuba dive teams by focusing their energy on three central objectives. Project Baseline is a grassroots conservation initiative focused on aquatic environments all over the world. It's a volunteer-run organization built primarily on divers right now, but we hope to branch out into the broader community. Project Baseline is an endeavor to start to document local aquatic environments from this point forward so that we can eliminate the generational amnesia that exists today when we're looking at environments. Our, our mission is to encourage divers and empower those divers to be able to go out on a regular basis and record what they see in the, in the local environment that they dive on a regular basis. You know, from my perspective, the most important thing people collect is simply pictures. The old adage is, is an old adage for a reason, that a picture is worth a thousand words. And if we can collect a series of photographs and videos that people, where people can see, you know, what's happening in a particular environment, that is the first necessary step before anything else can happen. You know, we recognize that there are people heading into underwater environments all over the world, and we'd like to harness the power of all of those divers by giving them the tools and the platform required to take their observations that they're collecting anyway as they snap images, video, create dive logs, and give them a platform to share their observations with the world. And then ultimately to help those people connect and understand what the threats are to that environment and also to help them understand that they have a voice that, and that they can do something to help protect it. We really want to create a long-term catalog of those observations. We want to make sure that um, the public can see uh, a record building over time. And uh, we believe that um, our underwater diving community has something really powerful to share with um, entities that uh, maybe view water resource management from a more scientific perspective but maybe have less of a personal connection to these environments. You know, unfortunately, most of the people that are tasked with, you know, managing the resource don't, don't go there. And, it, and if they do, they don't go there on a very uh, frequent basis. And so it's not that, you know, people aren't trying to collect information and, and you know, protect a particular environment, but quite often it, it's literally that they just aren't seeing it. What we have the capacity to do is just show them. I can tell a politician or I can tell a scientific community that 30 years ago I could see down 65 feet from the surface without a problem. And they say prove it and, and I can't. And so the data and the conviction that we have as divers within this project will allow us to get more involved. I don't think it's going to take five to ten years. I think all it's going to take is to get people organized enough 
to collect the information, the pictures, the data, the, the, to be able to articulate their story in a way that will resonate with the politicians and the organizations that are tasked with, with protecting uh, the resource. And I think we can accomplish that on a much shorter uh, timeline if we had the resources to dedicate to it.